What happened to the famous racehorse Farlap? There seems to be something a little bit suspicious. Animal X. to Animal X. In 1930, life in Australia was tough. Jobs were hard to get, money was scarce. But there was a guaranteed way of making some cash. If you could scrape together a shilling, a pound, or a fiver, you could put it on a horse. Not just any horse, but a horse that was bound to win. A sure thing. Far lap. It's interesting, actually, because we had a horse very recently called Frankel. Oh, my God. Frankel was incredible. You knew no one stood a chance of beating him. Uh, and... The problem is, though, is that the odds are so rubbish because that horse is so massively favourite. So, you know, they say about a horse that is almost guaranteed to win, just like Frankel was. But you have to put a hell of a lot of money up front to actually get anything back. While he lived, his record was glorious. But the strange circumstances around his death in a foreign land began a mystery that is still... Bloody America. Today. Was the greatest horse in Australia poisoned by his own vet? Was he slipped some deadly feed? Was he killed by the Mafia? A lot of Australians believed that he had been poisoned. Farlap had a mysterious death overseas at a time when the population was desperate for heroes. Animal X begins its investigation in Melbourne, Victoria, where the Far Lap legend began. Melbourne. In 38 races, he won 34 times, including winning 14 races in a row. They kept testing him more and more. They gave him bigger weights to carry and longer races, and, and at one stage he ran, he won five races in a week. So they worked him very, oh. very hard. You wouldn't see that these days in horses. I've got shares in a horse, and you're lucky if it runs runs three times in a year, for Christ's sake. Um, that is... They clearly knew... They're saying raced five times in a week. They clearly knew how incredible this horse was. And I suppose that's what you do when when something or someone is so special and so good... You try and push them as much as you can can get out of them. Think of Usain Bolt. You push Usain Bolt. See as much as he can do. See what he can win. Perhaps Far Lap's inspiration came from this man, stable boy Tommy Woodcock. Far Lap and Woody, as he Cock. was known, were inseparable. <laughs> Woody. <laughs> By 1930, Far Lap was a hero. After all, he was winning just about every race but he was making enemies too. Bookmakers were losing a fortune. Payouts were huge. Farlap was, um, was the only horse to have been favorite for the Melbourne Cup three times in a row. After winning Australia's classic race, trainer Harry Telford and owner David Davies decided to send Farlap to America to race in the prestigious and well-paid Aqua Caliente Cup. But not everyone wanted to see Far Lap leave the country. Many Australians were really opposed to the idea of sending Far Lap overseas. That comes almost as if, uh, oh, it's ours. You know, this thing is ours. We want to keep it all for ourselves. Uh, it's a, Now, obviously, it was clearly his downfall. But it's that sort of, and don't take this the wrong way, but it's that sort of selfish mentality, you know, if I can't, if I can't have her, no one else can. Um, it's it's quite a selfish mentality to have. But in this case, it was probably the right mentality, knowing in hindsight. There was a fear, I think, even before Farlap left, that he would never come back. Farlap won so convincingly that some said he wouldn't be allowed to live. Racing in the USA at that time was a tough business, controlled by the mob, the Mafia. Woody and Far Lap had traveled to a stable at Menlo Park in California. At 4.30 a.m. on the 5th of April, 1932, Far Lap woke with a slight temperature. 
veterinarian William Nielsen, who had also traveled with Far Lap from Australia, treated the horse, but it became much worse. Nielsen left to seek another opinion. Just after midday, in great agony, Far Lap died. Woody threw himself on the horse and cried. It's, it's, it's truly dreadful. Now, clearly, this horse had still plenty left in him. You know, they took him to America to carry on racing, so it clearly had so much left in him. Um, and and as, as an animal lover on the whole <laughs> it would be truly dreadful truly dreadful and, and actually feel sorry for the stable boy back then when the horse died uh, the nation stopped uh, there's an account that the prime minister was was in a meeting uh, that was interrupted uh, and when in he was informed that, that the horse had died in the united states the two most persistent theories were that he'd been deliberately fed damp oats, which brought on a fatal attack of colic, or that there were poison clay pellets in his stall. Two autopsies only deepened the mystery. Nielsen, the vet, blamed a bout of colic for the death, even though there was no food in Far Lap's stomach. The US authorities then officially declared that the death was caused by the spraying of nearby trees with lead arsenate. A nation mourned as Far Lap returned to Australia. His hide was preserved and has been exhibited at the Australian Museum since 1932. Please tell me if you've gone to see Far Lap in the museum. I reckon there's definitely some people that have seen Far Lap preserved. How incredible. It's, it's incredible what they do with, with... I can't even think of the word now. You're all going to tell me what the word is now. Where they stuff an animal. Oh... I can't think of the word, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know what I mean. This is more like a shrine than an exhibit, with relics of his racing days alongside his huge frame. His heart, too, was preserved and displayed in Canberra. Generations of Australians big, have been told the legend heart. and gazed at this huge heart, one of the biggest of any racehorse before or since. It captured the the hearts and the minds, the, the imaginations of, of, of the population and, and has, has been there ever since. And, and I guess the, the mystery of its death um, has only added to that. Whether it was malicious intent or a simple mistake that ended the life of one of the world's greatest racehorses, no one will ever know. Perhaps there is only one sure thing about this case. Far Lap really was a legend. It said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. There was a fear, I think, even before Farlap left, that he would never come back. You've just seen some of them on Animal X. Well, Animal X. It's, it's, uh, it's tricky because it may be just a coincidence that you know went to went to the united states and it was a pure accident or um you know there was nothing nothing intentional that caused the death however it does make a damning claim that you know because this horse was doing so well and winning everything it was almost a dead cert that the horse would win and therefore if punters put their money on this horse the bookies would get beaten and it would cost them a lot of money so there are certainly there's certainly reasons to believe that it was something suspicious and it's not just the bookies bear in mind it's other horse owners that have horses trying to race against it if their horses don't win then they're not making as much money so maybe there was something suspicious maybe it was just just a complete accident who knows what are your thoughts let me know do you uh, surely no one's old enough to remember far lap surely no one on my youtube channel is old enough to remember far lap when it was alive surely not but anyway what are your thoughts do you think it was something suspicious let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching like and subscribe Make sure you check out the merch down below as well. 
and I'll catch you next time.